Do you remember the sound that the dawn made when you closed it on me? Do you know that I went down to the ground, landed on both my broken heart and knees? I feel like this record is different from my other records in that I'm allowing myself to sing out, and I think allowing myself to sing out has allowed me to kind of opening up vocally allowed me to open up emotionally and, and lyrically and um, I feel like it just it's 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 I'm you know I'm, I'm not the same person I was when I first released Girls and Boys. I was twenty five or twenty six when I when I wrote those songs and I'm older now. <laughs> and so I just I wanted to do something that was more grown up for me feeling or more where I am in my life and, and so I I think it's very easy to do the same thing over and over again. So I took a step outside of my comfort zone, and um, and I'm proud of, of myself for that. And there are many people that, you know, my fans that maybe some people don't like it because it's too different or it's whatever they think it is. And, and I've dealt with that because we released it this week, and I've sort of just been reading reviews, good and bad, and um, and it's hard. And, and and at some points you kind of second guess yourself. But I I think I know that I that I did the right thing, and I'm really Of me had already died. I'm a ghost haunting these holes, climbing up walls that I never knew were there. And I'm lost, broken down the middle of my heart. Heart, I'm broken down the middle of my heart. Heart, heart. No, you make me. I wrote all the songs myself, so I didn't collaborate with any songwriters on this, but I did work with a really great producer, his name is David Kahn, and he's worked with Paul McCartney, and the Bangles, and Eugene Spector, and he, he was very, he was a large part of the fact that I did open up and create this record. He came to see me live, and he had my record, and he said, why don't you sing the way you sing live on your records? And, I don't know, I feel like it's a little scary to kind of go all out there on tape anyway. And he said, no, you gotta try this and see what happens. And so I ended up writing the whole record except for one song, the, the year that I, last year, which was the year I recorded. So during November of 2011 to October of 2011, I was in the studio. And that's when I wrote 12 out of 13 songs on the record. And um, so he really inspired me and really pushed me. And I would say it was probably the biggest influence this record creatively. I think I, I get I'm getting better and better as a performer and, and just confident and able to to keep going when things go wrong on stage and don't crumble. Um, and I feel very I feel very at home when I'm on stage. What hasn't gone away is uh, I think my confidence in myself just kind of on a general spectrum like I'll write a song and, and then right after I write it, like this is the best song I've ever written. And then I'll listen to it two days later and, um, and I say, This is crap, I hate this, I'm never going to play this again. And I, you know, I, I'll read one bad review and I'll be like, Well, I suck, this is, I'm just a fraud, what am I doing? And then I'll read a good review and I'm like, I'm great, you know. So it's like, I, I feel like sometimes, especially at this time when you just have I've released a record, it's a very vulnerable time because everybody's focusing on it and either attacking it or praising it. And really, I mean, when you step back from it, you can't take anybody's critique, good or bad. You have to just know that what you're doing is what you feel like is the right thing. But um, but yeah, I, I'm very easily kind of knocked around, and I hope to get better at that. I think I get better, and then with every release, is that's when you put something new.